So today I've got an unboxing, so let's have a look at what I've received in the mail. There's actually a few things. So I'm going to have uh, this package here. Let's go off of that. And I've got a couple more right here as well. So I've got a few little things to start unboxing. Let's first start with the first one. Uh, the smallest one and put that off to the side. So where is my little... there it is. So let's go in. Uh, and that is from Oshpark with those nice little purple PCBs. Nothing's left in here. So okay, these, these are for a different project so let's just leave them off to the side. And, wait a minute, I've only got two of these. I'll just check back in the envelope. That's right, there's a third one. Okay, so what is this one here? So, this is the size of a Pro Micro. And, um, it's, um, it looks like a chip and I call it a GPIO expander. So, what the idea behind this is, and obviously it's not tested, it's really a prototype board. So, um, I got the Gergoplex here, which is essentially, uh, we've got essentially the equivalent of a Pro Micro, but on this side, it's a GPO IO expander, and in between the two, we've got a TRS connector. So, by using, for example, a Blue Micro on, um, let's take the example of uh, a Ergo Travel. So we could have on one side the uh, Blue Micro and then the other side a, a GPO expander communicating through I2C on the TRS cable and that means that we only need one controller and having a cheaper expander. Now this also will help uh, on um, so that I can actually have hardware to test with uh, to be able to add GPIO expander for, for example, if you want to have like a full keyboard or some more complicated keyboard to be able to expand the Blue Micro to GPIO expanders. So um, that is the first set of project that I've got on here. So let's put that off to the side. Now let's go to the next one. What is this big monster thing here? And this is the one that I'm most anxious about. So let's go and dive in here and see what's in here. I got two boxes. Nah, they really like packing with bubble wrap and tape, don't they? Okay, so I guess tape is cheap compared to bubble envelopes, so let's just rip this open like that. We got two boxes here. One's got bumped up a bit, but not too bad, and the other one is in perfect condition. So let's put that off to the side and let's see here. What do I have in here? Certificate, manual pulse generator, 5 volt and some type in quantity 1. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, that's a big. Ooh, you can hear that? That's... That is one nice encoder. Okay, let's. This is essentially my next project here. Let's just see how that looks like. Let's put that off to the side. Because I already designed something to fit on here. So I've got a little board, and that's going to go like this. So let's grab the next package and see where this will go and this if you recognize the deep DHL package now let's go and have a look what's in this one and let's go and see it's all blue because it's 
Okay, no label on this side, but it's from JLC. Let's go and open this up. Okay. Now, let's open... Hey, there's a puzzle this time. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and I've got a few other things, and I've got... Here's what the rotary encoder project is. Let's look at these things. No! Why is this green? I guess they made a mistake and sent it away. What's the order number? 2627? I guess I ordered two of these without a mistake. Okay, um, and then we're gonna go into here later on. So I've got, yeah, this one, that's gonna be uh, boring, green. Okay, $5 gone. But then let's go with this, this, and this. Um, a couple more projects. Here's another one that's similar to what I had earlier. And I've got another one here, which I'm going to go on after this one. So, let's see this. So, let's see. I've got uh, another box that I want to bring out. Because these are components that are going to go with that. So, let's uh, open this up one at a time. And grab first one to grab is going to be the PCB. Okay. Put that aside. Then we've got a nice bottom plate here. And let's grab this. Put that aside. And then we've got a nice top plate here. Side. So, how will this go? So we've got one like this, one at the bottom, and one obviously in the middle, and it's going to go like this. Here's the stack up. Now, let's see how that's going to go. We've got these here. Now, I've got a few components off to the side that are going to be very useful. So this one is going to be to the top. So we've got a little notch somewhere here. And this is going to go with the notch there. Like so. Then we're going to bring this here. Tighten that. Okay, so now I've got, uh, let's see what I have in here. I've got switches and keys, uh, and I've got some components that I'll need to use. Uh, so let's, uh, and these switches are essentially, let's just add, uh, I've got different lengths uh, here. Let's just make sure I flip this around, grab all of those that I need. So, one, two, three, tilt that to the side. Okay, so I've got a few different lengths here. So, uh, all equal lengths are the long ones here. Then I've got a medium and a short length. There, so I should have two of the shortest, two of the medium, I think, and then uh, 
probably a bunch of the long that was just in case. Now let's just uh, go in here and make sure that I add the uh, the back ones are going to be long ones. The back one is going to be a long one. Come on. And uh, I want to have, like I've got some different lengths and that the reason for that is to be able to get it slightly sloping forward. So let's go get the, don't go away, don't go away, there's one. The medium ones are going to go here. short one here then we've got the medium one here and then the short one here okay now we will be inserting this this uh, way and these should fit right through like so perfect so now we're going to install a few switches so let's get these nine switches out and these were just leftover switches that I had around so I've got a few different color ones that's okay now let's just uh, make sure that my pins are straight so that they don't run into problems yeah, that's good Start at the top, slowly fill them in. Oops, uh, yep, that's it. What is that going to look like? Other computer doing some funny things. Okay, so oh, now I've got all these in. Let's line up the bottom plate just for lining things up. And you can see the angle that we have right here. That was the strategy behind the different lengths. It's kind of awkward, but let's just add uh, just a couple of uh, screws here, maybe one in each corner. It's going to be, yeah, going, doing that by hand is not obviously not the best. So let's just see. Do I have the right size? Yeah, I do. There's going to be a natural 
I guess bending to it a little bit, but it's not going to be a I think with the angle that I've got here is going to be fine. Okay, let's go the final corner here. I won't add those middle ones just for now. Just I want to see what this is going to look like. I just bring all of this off to the side, back in its little box. Now let's see what that looks like. Ooh, don't go away. So let's just see. Uh, no, nope, that's going to be the wrong way. I'm going to make sure I got the pin, the uh, switches the right way. There we go. One, two, These are caps that I had around from grab bags, so and they were caps that I had, so and I thought to see the LEDs, these are reasonably good. Obviously the color is a little bit different, but Yeah, these are clicky switches, eh? Oh, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, so this is essentially the next project. Obviously nothing soldered, it's just kinda like a mechanical fit, how it all looks like. And it looks pretty darn sweet. Ooh. So, One big. And that is my next project. At least another one of those pro next projects. So, um, that'll be the next piece there. Uh, so, I've got another one here. That's the GPIO expander. Now, I've got another one that you might have actually seen a little bit that I tossed off to the side. Now, what is this thing here? And this is really more for play than anything else. So let's go and see what this is all about. Let's just grab one. Now, what does this thing look like? Oh, we Nunchuck Pro Micro Adapter. Ooh, that'll be neat. Let's grab. So, Blue Micro. Um, I've got somewhere a little raw pin, and then it's meant to be able to fit like this. But what's that other piece? nunchuck this okay and there's gonna be a side notch up there's a notch how does that fit oh nice so that means we're gonna have a piece that looks like this maybe without the top board because it's all integrated in here we've got the switch we've got level converters between if it's a pro micro it's got a level convert from here to here and it's got the battery charger and everything so I'll, now I remember what is this again yeah it's a essentially it's a power regulator in case I, we get um, a true pro micro in here because nunchucks are only 3.3 volts so we need to be able to have a pro micro to nunchuck that's a converter but because we have, I have Blue Micro, it is compatible with the Blue Micro. So essentially put that on here, uh, Blue Micro on here, and we have the reset button in the back, the battery connector, the slide switch to be able to turn it on and off, because obviously this will be running on battery. And then I have no idea how long the battery will last, but it's essentially for an easy way to have a wireless nunchuck. Yeah, that'll be neat. So that's another experiment uh, from this. So GPIO expander. Uh, this 
big root. Ah, oh, that's. And when I get little pads underneath, it. Oh, that's gonna be. Yeah, it's a bit on the light side. So with pads underneath, you know what? Let's install those pads right now. Kind of thinking with pads underneath, it might uh, help not have um, too much of a slide. But let's let's try it out. Here, one, two, three, four. Oh, that is nice. Okay, we'll be able to get this lined up and see how it, uh, and there's like, it actually fits pretty well. I gotta tighten all the screws and get this programmed up and soldered and everything and then, but um, yeah, so nine individual LEDs. There's going to be a little speaker uh, in here. Uh, there's going to obviously um, uh, resistors for the LEDs and then uh, it's a 3x3 three three matrix so for nine uh, keycaps so there's a, there's a fair bit of programming that's going to go into here but uh, this is uh, yeah this is the next big project hardware project so that'll be that'll be neat okay well this is essentially the unboxing for today a uh, few projects on the go uh, and um, the three big things that they're all gonna go into uh, well not necessarily all blue micro but uh, oh, this was the one that I've been waiting for a long time so that'll be fun okay well have a good day